In this tutorial, I'll show you how I made this resin ocean inspired heart shape. Using art resin, I'll mix equal amounts on kitchen scale so I can get an accurate measurement. It needs to be very accurate and then stir it slowly for about five minutes, three to five minutes. And now I'm mixing in some angel white into that clear resin and this beautiful red plum color. It's a new one I'm trying out and it looks absolutely beautiful. It's like a purple with a bit of a, a red hue to it. And I usually use blues and turquoise, but today I'm going with pink as well as purple. This is a beautiful Fandango pearlescent color by Larez as well. And you don't need much. It's very, very vibrant. Typically, the rule is not to use any more than 5 to 10% of pigment into your resin when mixing. And I just roughly blend these this base coat because I want my white wave to cover the entire piece on the first layer. And these white shells are from Naturally Wild Australia and now I'm going to use some rose quartz crystals because I'm getting really into the spirit of the unconditional love energy of Valentine's Day and a beautiful heart. Now that strip of white I laid down first, that's optional, but I, looking back at it I could have even extended it out a bit more. Once I finished arranging my shells I then left it for about 5 or 10 minutes while this white thickened up even more. It's important that it's very thick or else you're not going to get the good lacing. And I pour quite a thick strip on it because I, like I said, I want that white to extend to the very edge of that heart. It might take me a little while to push it up there. It's a bit stubborn and yes, it's very thick. I did leave it. When leaving your white to thicken up, you do also have to be mindful of your working time of the resin you're using. Art resin has about a 45 minute working time after you've stirred it for five minutes. So even if you're leaving your pigments to sit, you've just got to be careful that you're giving yourself enough time before the resin starts setting at that 45 minute mark. And to elevate this piece, I'll add some bling with some crushed mirror glass from the res. And I waited before pouring this. The, I think I left this about 15 minutes. I came back and I started to pour those on. That's because I didn't want them to sink down. I want them to sit on top of the resin a bit more. So that's a little tip. If you put it on straight away, they can sink and they can get a bit lost. Pouring my second layer, I'll lay down some clear resin first and then a very light transparent mix of the same two colors. Now this time I barely put any of the pigment into it because I want, I don't want it to cover up all that lacing underneath. I just want it to color it like it is there. And now I'm just covering it up while I wait for that white to thicken. It's always important to cover it from dust. And I did pour that line of clear a bit more higher, about an inch higher than I would like because I knew that it's going to expand out and run down further the line will drop and it will drop again when I um, place this white down and you can see that it has if you look back at the footage the line was much higher initially and the fan speed of my heat gun is set to high so that there's enough power behind it to blow it and this blow torch will help bring out the lacing the heat activates the lacing in the white pigment and sometimes that white just takes a little longer than usual to activate. But I'll show you here, that's it activated. So now you can see the lacing has formed. There's a close-up coming up very soon. Here it is. Look at that beautiful lacing. It's so pretty on that purple and pink. Let me know if you'd like to see more coloured pieces from me. Typically I do blues and turquoise, but if you want to see more colour, let me know. My name's Michelle Tracy and thank you so much for watching.